It's that time of the year again. Yes, New Year is just around the corner. So people who celebrate it, New Year is very special. Though the essence and spirit of New Year stays the same, each nation has its own unique way of celebrating it. In this video, we will explore how New Year is celebrated in different countries around the world. Welcome to the Think Lab. Let's get started. In United States, friends and families usually gather for a meal and sing the popular Old Lang Syne song to welcome the new year. And days of Lang Syne. Some also eat black eyed peas for good luck. Other familiar New Year customs include fireworks and kissing a loved one at the stroke of midnight. Oh, who would you rather have kissing you, me or Chandler? Oh, good point. Yeah. <laughs> Americans also tend to watch the New Year celebrations at Times Square in New York City on TV. Many even travel all the way to NYC to witness the coming of the New Year and watch the ball drop at midnight. New Year's Day, January 1st, is a national holiday in the U.S. On New Year's Eve, people of Colombia carry empty suitcases around the block in hopes of a year filled with travel and adventure. In Ecuador, people celebrate the New Year by making enormous scarecrows or effigies out of paper and old clothes. These effigies often represent politicians and cartoon characters. Ecuadorians take these effigies out on the streets and at the stroke of midnight, throw them into huge bonfires and watch them burn. They believe that by burning these effigies as symbols of the old year, they are in fact cleansing the new year of all things evil. People in Panama have the same tradition. They too burn effigies called Moni Echo, meant to represent the old year. The people of Ecuador also have the tradition of walking around the block with a suitcase, just like their Colombian neighbors. People of Argentina throw pieces of confetti out of their windows around lunchtime on December 31st. There is a reason for that. To leave the past behind, Argentines symbolically shred their old papers and documents from the previous year. If you compare this tradition with the South African tradition of throwing old furniture onto the street from a height, you'll see how harmless it is. In Brazil, as well as other Central and South American countries such as Ecuador, Venezuela, and Bolivia, wearing special underwear on New Year's Eve is believed to bring luck and good fortune. Red and yellow are the most popular colors. Red represents love, <laughs> and yellow represents money. Franklin Grant and Jackson. Brazil also has one very popular tradition. On New Year's Eve, People of Brazil head to the shores in order to make offerings to an important water deity, the queen of the ocean, Yamoja, who controls the seas. They light candles and throw white flowers into the water to receive her blessings for the year ahead. In Scotland, the last day of the year is called Hogmanay and consists of a few strange customs and traditions. One such tradition, which happens to be quite famous, is called first footing. You see, according to Scottish beliefs, the last day of the year at around midnight a strapping, dark-haired man carrying whiskey, coal, fruitcake, and short beard should pay you a visit. He should be the first person to cross the threshold of your door if you want to have good luck in the year to come. Even the gifts that this man carries symbolize good fortune and prosperity. Why a dark-haired man? You might ask? Well, way back when Scotland was invaded by the Vikings, a light-haired man, probably carrying a big axe, was the last person you wanted to see at your doorstep. That is why a man with dark hair is your preferred visitor on New Year's Eve. Scottish traditions are heavily influenced by pagan beliefs. There is, for example, Edinburgh's torchlight procession on December 30th, where people build bonfires and spend their hogmanay parading through the streets, swinging huge fireballs on poles, which symbolize the sun and are meant to cleanse and purify the coming year. People of Ireland have quite a few interesting New Year's traditions. To ward off bad luck and evil spirits, they hit the outside walls and doors of their homes with bread and clean every nook and cranny in their homes. They also put an additional plate at the dinner table for any loved one they lost in the previous year. It is also customary for unmarried girls to put a mistletoe under their pillow before they go to bed on New Year's Eve. It is believed that by doing so they will find their future husbands in the coming year. In Denmark, it is customary to jump off a chair or sofa at the stroke of midnight. This represents jumping into the new year and is seen as good luck. It should come as no surprise that failing to jump will bring bad luck. Good luck. Danes also have another interesting New Year's tradition. By the end of New Year's Eve, 
in order to banish evil spirits and let go of any aggression and ill will. People throw china at the front doors of their friends and neighbors. Whoever has the biggest pile of broken dishes will have the most luck in the coming year. Well, what do you know? I guess I'll be the one who dies first. <laughs> People of Finland have an old Nordic tradition. They try to predict the coming year by melting a piece of lead or tin, usually a small horseshoe, and throwing it into a bucket of water. They look at the shape of the metal after it hardens and try to interpret what they see. A heart, for example, means there is going to be a wedding. A ship might indicate travel. Bubbles mean there's money on the way. And a pig represents an abundance of food. Interestingly enough, people of Germany share the same tradition. Over there it is called Bleigießen, or lead pouring. In Spain, it is customary to eat exactly 12 grapes, one at each stroke of the clock at midnight on New Year's Eve. Each grape represents a whole month of good luck. This tradition started in the late 19th century by a group of vine growers who wanted to sell their grapes by the end of the year. Today, this tradition is still honored by Spaniards hoping to invite good fortune and prosperity into their lives in the coming year. In Russia, on New Year's Eve, people write what they wish for on a piece of paper and burn the paper with a candle. Then they put the ashes of their burned wish in a glass of champagne and drink it at a minute past midnight. In Turkey, in order to invite good luck into their homes, people sprinkle salt on their doorsteps at midnight on New Year's Eve. The salt is believed to bring peace and prosperity in the coming year. In Japan, it is customary to celebrate Oshugatsu, or New Year, with a bowl of soba noodles in a ritual called Toshikoshi Soba, which translates to year-crossing noodles. Soba noodles are easily cut while eating, and people eat them to let go of the past year's hardships and challenges. New Year is a reminder that, no matter how hard it's been, there is always the possibility to let go and start over. Sound off below and let us know if there are other interesting New Year traditions out there. Also tell us how you are planning to ring in 2023. Happy New Year in advance guys! If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let us know down in the comments if there's any subject you want us to cover in the future. See you in the next video!